Here we're going to demonstrate the feature Smile Design in CEREC 4.2. As usual, the preparation is scanned in and is aligned either horizontally or sagittally in the dialog occlusal plane. A patient portfolio portrait photo is then imported and marks are applied on the left half of the screen as shown in the template. The marks are used to calibrate the portrait with the restoration model. The distance between the eyes is measured, or rather the distance from the outer corner of the left eye to the outer corner of the right eye, and the result is then entered in the software. The magnification scale is then measured based on this to scale the model to the portrait. The calibration can also be adjusted using this measurement. The 3D model is then shown in the patient context and can be adjusted with the corresponding rotation and translation manipulators so that it covers the patient portrait exactly. As the patient portrait is a pseudo 3D model, it can also be checked from the side, from above or below to fine-tune the positioning of the 3D model. The fact that the orientation planes are shown also makes it easier to align the model properly. So once the model is aligned, it can be constructed and changed as normal in CEREC. We now have the advantage that we can actually assess the construction in the context of the patient and can therefore better assess the effect of the tools that we're using. In this case, for instance, we use the symmetry tool or the group tool. This allows us to change the entire front in one go and we see this entire front in real time. The incisal variation tool, for example, lets us visually see the cutback technique in the front on all of the teeth at the same time.